In this video, I'm going to show you how to vibe code a Shopify store using the Lovable website. I've got some insane news for you today. Lovable just dropped a Shopify integration and it lets you build a front-end website that's connected to your Shopify account. You can control your products and everything in between without wrestling with a traditional theme. I'll keep this short and sweet in structure but detailed enough to follow. First, I'll talk about what the Shopify integration with Lovable is and what it isn't. Then I'll walk you through exactly how to set it up step by step, and I'll show you a demo I built so you can see it working end to end. You can make this a fitness store or a clothing store, it's up to you. If you've got clients or you yourself want to sell physical or digital products, this is a fast way to get up and running. The store you're about to see took me about 11 minutes to stand up to the point where products are connected to Shopify and it's basically ready to take payments. There will be tweaks to make later, but getting to that stage this quickly is mind-blowing, so let's dive in. Quick note on what I mean by vibe code. When I say we're going to vibe code, I'm not writing React or Liquid by hand. I'm describing the vibe of the site in plain English, the brand, colors, sections, and products, and Lovable turns that into a working front end. If I don't like something, I tweak the sentence, regenerate, and keep going. Think of it as designing with sentences instead of code, so you move fast without getting stuck in a theme editor. The whole point is to stay in creator mode, talk through what you want, adjust the wording to nudge the layout, and keep iterating until the result matches the feel you're going for. If the hero feels too busy, I just say, simplify the hero, keep the CTA bold. If the product grid looks crowded, I say, give me three columns on desktop, two on tablet, one on mobile. It's still the same idea, no manual coding, just shaping the experience by refining your words. All right, first things first. Let's get you into Lovable. Go ahead and open the Lovable website. On the homepage, look for the Get Started button, usually up in the top right, and click it. You'll see a sign-in window pop up. You've got three options here. Continue with Google, continue with GitHub, or continue with email. For this walkthrough, I'll use Continue with Google. Click that. Choose the Google account you want to use and approve the permissions if prompted. If nothing happens, your browser might be blocking pop-ups. Just allow pop-ups for this site and try again. If you'd rather use GitHub, click Continue with GitHub, sign in if you're not already, and then click Authorize when Lovable asks for access. And if you prefer email, click Continue with email, type your email address, and hit Continue. You might also see a quick onboarding tour. You can follow it or skip it for now. Once that's done, you'll land on your Lovable dashboard. That's it. You're in and ready to build. Here's the quick idea of how the connection works. Lovable becomes the front end of your website. Shopify still handles checkout. If you're used to Shopify, you know there's a section where you'd usually edit your theme and drag things around. With Lovable, you're going to prompt it in plain language and it will build the entire front end for you. It also creates the matching products inside Shopify, so everything lines up. So think of Lovable as the website layer that people see and click through, and think of Shopify as the engine that processes orders and payments. That's the split. Now I'm starting from scratch inside Lovable, so you can follow along. I'm on my dashboard, and I'm going to spin up a brand new project. I paste in the prompt I want Lovable to follow, and I read it out as I go so you can hear the exact setup I'm asking for. I'm telling Lovable, Make me a premium Shopify fitness store using Lovable's Shopify integration. I'm going to set the brand name to FitForge with the tagline, Train Smarter, Feel Stronger. And I'll keep the region as Canada, so everything is shown in CAD. For the look, I'm going clean and high contrast, charcoal and white with an accent green, so the CTAS pop. I'm adding the pages Home, Shop, About, and Contact. And in the footer, I want FAQs, shipping, returns, privacy, and terms, so all the key links are there from day one. On the home page, I'm putting a big hero with the CTA Shop Fitness Gear, three quick USP cards, a featured products section, three short testimonials, and an email capture that uses the code FIT10 for 10% off. I'm setting fixed prices for three products, $62, $39, and $24, and I want the variance exactly as I specify, plus proper alt text and SEO titles. I'm also asking for three images for each product. 
one clean product on white, and one lifestyle shot. For the actual products, I'm naming the first one Gripflow Pro Yoga Mat 5mm, price 62 Canadian dollars, with color variants, graphite ocean, and orchid, and the SEO title Gripflow Pro Yoga Mat 5mm, non-slip and durable. The second product is Core Pulse Art Jump Rope, price 39 Canadian dollars, with color variants black, neon blue, and rose, and the SEO title Core Pulse Smart Jump Rope, adjustable, app ready. The third product is HydraTrack 1 liter bottle, priced 24 Canadian dollars, with color variants clear, smoke, and teal, and the SEO title HydraTrack 1 liter water bottle, time marked hydration. I paste that prompt into Lovable and hit generate. Right away, Lovable asks me to enable the Shopify connection because I told it to build an e-commerce store. I click Allow, and Lovable creates a new Shopify connection and links everything up. Give it a moment to run, and then, boom, the base store. It's ready. We can jump in and look around. The hero section is there with the call to action. The sections we asked for are in place, and those sample products are already wired up. If you don't like the AI-generated product images, just replace them with your own photos, upload your real product shots and lifestyle images, and the storefront updates right away. As Lovable finishes generating the front end, it also creates the matching products in Shopify. If I refresh, the products are sitting there in the Shopify admin. I can add one to the cart on the Lovable site, view the cart, and go to checkout. Look at the URL. It's the Shopify checkout with checkout in the path. That's the point. Lovable handles the front end, and Shopify handles payment and checkout. This is exactly what we want for reliability. You can customize anything you want from the Lovable side using prompts, and you can fine-tune details in Shopify. Since I'm not using the pro plan of Lovable here, there's a limit on how many prompts I can run. Use your credits wisely. If you hit the cap, just continue the next day. When you're happy with your edits, Tap the up arrow in Lovable to generate and push the changes to your front end. If you want to support this channel, feel free to use our affiliate links given in the video description. This will help us make more such videos. All right, now I'll claim the store so it lives under my Shopify account. In Lovable, I type claim store. It gives me a button to claim it. I click claim, verify I'm human, and sign in. If you don't have a Shopify account yet, you can create one. If you already have one, just pick that account. I click Claim Store, then open Shopify Admin, and now the lovable front end is connected to my Shopify. From the Shopify Admin, I go to Products, and I can see the three products we created from the prompt. If I open the HydraTrack 1L bottle, I can see the title, the description, the category, and the images. This is where you can change the image of your product if you don't like the AI-generated one. The color variants are there exactly as I asked, and the price is already in CAD because I set the region in the prompt. Because I asked for alt text and SEO titles, those are already in place. This is also where I double-check capitalization, spacing, and variant names, and the order that colors appear in the dropdown, small details that make the store feel polished. Let's talk through the structure, clean and simple, so you can repeat it whenever you want to make another store. Start a new lovable project. Paste the exact prompt. Set your brand name and tagline. Lock the region and currency so your prices show correctly. Define the style so the UI stays consistent across pages. Set the pages and footer so your navigation is ready to go from day one. Describe the homepage section so you get a hero section, your USP cards, your featured products, testimonials, and the email capture in the first pass. Then list your products with exact prices, color variants, and SEO titles, and include that note for two images per product. Generate and let Lovable run. When it asks to enable the Shopify connection, allow it. When the front end is ready, add an item to the cart and click through to Shopify's checkout. If you don't like the AI-generated product images, just replace them with your own photos. Upload your real product shots and lifestyle images, 
and the storefront updates right away. Now that you've seen the walkthrough, you can push this even further. I just showed you how I made mine, now make yours. Swap in your own product photos, refine the copy, nudge the layout with a simple prompt, and keep iterating until it feels exactly like your brand. And if you're wondering which plan to use as you start building, here's a quick breakdown so you can pick the right one for your workflow. Now let's go over pricing so you can decide how you want to move forward. There's a free plan at $0 per month, free forever, with five daily credits, up to 30 per month, public projects, and unlimited collaborators. It's perfect for testing the flow, learning the prompt style, or spinning up a quick proof of concept, especially if you just want to see how fast you can go from an idea to a working front end. The pro plan is $25 per month and includes everything in free plus 100 monthly credits, five daily credits, up to 150 per month. Credit rollovers, custom domains, the option to remove the lovable badge, private projects, and user roles and permissions. Choose Pro when you're ready to ship on your own domain, keep work private, and run more iterations in a day. The rollovers help if you miss a day and want to catch up later. The business plan is $50 per month and adds internal publish, SSO, personal projects, the option to opt out of data training, and design templates on top of everything in Pro. This is great for growing teams and departments that need single sign-on, governance, and cleaner handoffs between teammates so the workflow stays organized. Enterprise is custom and adds dedicated support, onboarding services, custom connections, group-based access control, and custom design systems. Use this when you need deeper security reviews, custom integrations, and large-scale control across multiple teams so everyone can work within the same guardrails. A simple way to choose. Start on free to experiment, move to pro when you're launching on your domain or collaborating privately, level up to business when your team needs SSO and governance, and go enterprise when scale, security, and custom workflows are required. Before we wrap up, here are the links you'll need. All the links you need are in the description. Use the Shopify link to get a three-month Shopify trial for just $1 per month and use the Lovable link to get 10 free credits so you can follow along and spin up your first version today. Thanks for watching. If this helped, drop a comment and tell me what kind of store you want to build next. Fitness, clothing, or something totally different. I'll be back with more quick demos and deeper dives on customizing your front end with Lovable prompts. See you in the next one.